10, 12, 13, 14, 15 running right now. I, I just didn't know how I could really help. So that first week, I, I literally thought of it as a vacation. I'm like, great, like I could just relax for a little bit. But when I realized a way that I could contribute, that I felt like I could contribute, that's when I got really motivated. We did this for first responders and frontliners. Medical personnel are being exposed multiple times a day, you know, wearing or not wearing any protective gear. You know, um, law enforcement, fire, same thing. These are the people that are out to protect us. So we felt like we, it's our duty to step up and help protect them. I have other people that are at, home, at their homes cutting filters. The community has been unbelievable. I, I am not doing this alone. The people that are coming to my door, you know, dropping off masks, 3D printing, dropping off filters, picking up filters to cut down. I want people to understand that it isn't just me. There are so many people there right behind me. I've got 70 masks that I've fully prepped. Working with my dad and like setting it up in the garage was it was fun because he was like really gung ho about it. Like he saw like my motivation and he like him and I are very similar. We have like very like outside of the box thinking brains. It's devastating. It's a pandemic. So um, to be able to actually participate in helping people get through it. Like I said, I'm just happy to be here and support and do whatever I can to help. I feel like I'm living in the 90s again, where you have that community on your street. It's just like this camaraderie and it's like humans being humans again. It, this experience has been very humbling. It's, it's restoring my faith in humankind again. If you've ever wanted to see down the mouth of a tiger, this is the way to do it. I'm working on it while he's asleep and getting some dental work done. It's fun. <laughs> I got involved with them and it's just it's just something completely different. Different is right. A team of dentists and veterinarians with the Peter Emily Foundation will work on eight exotic animals this weekend. This is a hyena that's 21 years old, very old for a hyena, and almost all of his teeth are uh, worn pretty pretty badly. This is an 11 year old 483 pound Siberian Bengal hybrid tiger. It's having seven root canals and it'll take a team of about seven dentists to complete the procedure. The animals at the wildlife way station are rescues. They come from all sorts of unfortunate backgrounds, including laboratories, circuses or simply unwanted pets. We have lions and tigers, hyenas. We have a huge colony of chimpanzees that came out from biomedical research, and there is more of those animals to come. The professionals with the Peter Emily Foundation volunteer their time and their skills to ensure these animals live a more comfortable life. Even the next day, uh, many of the uh, keepers will say, hey, they're, they're more active, they're happier. Big difference in how they're... they're their attitude of life. And for the Wildlife Way Station, a charity that operates solely on donations, the foundation's help is much appreciated. They bring in this big group of dentists and assistants and save us a tremendous amount of money by doing some very complicated dentistry. So the Wildlife Way Station's animals want to say a roar of thanks to the Peter Emily Foundation. In Silmar, I'm Darsha Phillips, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. It's a celebration of classics here at Mel's, combining their popular drive-in restaurant with a drive-in movie theater. The parking lot at Mel's Sunset Boulevard location, now the setting for drive-in movie nights on Sundays, taking customers on a nostalgic trip to another era. I had to come because I love Greece and I love the 1950s. I even have a whole bunch of outfits. Hi guys, how you doing? The family-owned restaurant bringing back a tradition started more than 70 years ago, car hop service. My grandfather had Mel's Drive-In. It was a car hop restaurant in 1947 up until about the 70s. Things changed and car hop kind of went away and I brought it back. And it Colton Wee says having car hops deliver orders is fun for customers and it has helped the chain survive during the coronavirus crisis. When we couldn't have people dine in and it was only takeout and stuff when COVID first started, when we brought back car hop service, it was a safe way for people to, you know, pull up and eat 
in their cars, and it, they had that retro, cool, fun experience. We just mind the peace and cues, Boston. Ferris Bueller's day off kicking off the Sunday night drive-in film series. The cost is $30 per adult. There's no charge for children. Only 18 vehicles are allowed in the parking lot. Lance Butler bringing his family to watch the movie in this vintage 1930s car. You're able to, to just kind of feel, get the culture and, and community of Mel's. Um, and it's a nice way to be able to social distance and come out here and spend time with family. And this is already so popular, Mel's plans to keep these Sunday night movies going here at its Sunset Boulevard location. Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.